Listen to what Romans chapter 1 says. It's like reading the New York Times. Verse 26, for this reason, God gave them up to vile passions. For even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Likewise, also men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one for another. Men with men committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error, which was due. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, we don't want to hear that stuff, get rid of that stuff, ban that stuff, stop that stuff. Even though they did not want to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to reprobate, debased minds to do those things which are not fitting, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, malice, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil mindedness, their whispers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, and knowing the righteous judgment of God that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only do the same, but they are proud or approve of those practices. I can't say it any better than God's holy word. Act like men. I was born this way. I was born in sin. I was born to commit adultery. I, if I go the natural way I was born, I'd be a drunk. I'd be a, I'd be a cocaine addict. I'd be an adulterer. I'd be a fornicator. But when you get, that's why you need to be born again. If you were born that way, get born again, get the nature of Christ and be an overcomer. Just like I have to resist temptation and sin, you learn how to resist temptation and sin. Get your mind renewed. Be not conformed to this world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind and suddenly you'll get the strength to live a life that's pleasing to God. It's the same salvation for the straight as for the gay. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And it's time for men to act like men and women to act like women. Act like men means you don't act like a woman. What are we doing? What are we accepting? And why are we so worried and quiet? Let's speak the truth in love. All that you do, doing the, if I love you, I'm going to tell you the truth. If I see a truck coming at you about to run over you, I'm going to scream at you to get out of the way. I'm preaching the truth to you. There's a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof is destruction. This word is right. This word will heal your life. I'm not mad at anybody. What do you mean act like a man? It means don't be the weaker vessel. In 1 Peter chapter 3, he said, Men, deal with your wives in understanding, giving honor to her as the weaker vessel. And being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Notice what he said. Give honor to her as the weaker vessel. When God made you, he made you physically stronger, emotionally stronger, spiritually stronger. The Bible is right. The woman is the weaker vessel. Not, not she's less. I believe in equality. I believe in e equality in pay and, and in opportunity. All of that. But let's just go back to what the Bible says. And the Bible says that if the man ought to be the person who's leading that family. As the weaker vessel. Well, you don't know my wife. Well, you don't know my wife. And I'm telling you. If you don't know her, you, you wouldn't think she's the weaker vessel, but physically, spiritually, emotionally, I'm supposed to be the strong one. She can fall to pieces, but, and I can have a day like that, but then I got to get up and I got to get my act together and I got to leap. I got to act like a man. I can't have a pity party the rest of my life. I got to act like a man. I've had dark times in my family, just like you're going through dark times in your family. 
But one thing that I would never let go of, I would never let go of the biblical promise of household salvation. I like what Joshua said. And he said, I'm deciding for my whole family. I'm going to act like a man. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And I'm going to say that in love, but I'll never stop moving in that direction with my family. And one of these days when I stand on streets of gold, I'm going to have them all up there. And that's what success is. Not a bigger house, not a bigger car, not a bigger this and that. If I can get me and my family to heaven and lead them that way, I'm acting like a man. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.